Have you ever thought about this? In 100 years, so like in 2123, we will all be buried with our relatives and friends. Strangers will live in our homes we fall so hard to build, and they will own everything we have today. All our possessions will be unknown and unborn, including the car we spent a fortune on and will probably be scrap, preferably in the hands of an unknown collector. Our descendants will hardly know who we are, nor will they remember us. How many of us know who our grandfather's father was? After we die, we will be remembered for a few more years, and then we are just a portrait on someone's bookshelf. And a few years later, our history, photos and deeds disappear into history's oblivion. We won't even be memories. If we pause one day to analyse these questions, perhaps we would understand how ignorant and weak the dream to achieve it all was. If we could only think about this, surely our approaches, our thoughts would change and we would be different people. That's why when King Solomon was asked by the divine what he wanted, he chose wisdom. And God gave him wisdom. After that, the riches came, the kingdoms came and power came. Welcome, dear viewers, to another intriguing episode of mythology and mysteries. Today, we embark on a journey through the annals of time to explore the enigmatic legacy of one of history's most revered figures, King Solomon. Was King Solomon the richest man ever lived? Was one of his wives the Queen of Sheba, half human, half jinn? And how could he control demons and jinns? That's what are we going to find out in this episode. So be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. King Solomon was a prophet in Islamic beliefs and a biblical figure who ruled as the King of Israel from approximately 970 to 931 BCE. According to the Hebrew Bible and the Old Testament, he was the son of King David who defeated Goliath. In various religious and mythological traditions, including Islamic, Christian and occult traditions, there are references to King Solomon's interactions with demons and jinns. One particular legend involves Solomon's ability to control 72 demons using a ring given by the Archangel Michael, a magical artifact called the Seal of Solomon or Solomon's Seal. These demons are often referred to as the 72 demons of the Goetia, also known as the 72 pillars, or the Lemegaton, with exemplary strength and their own legions. According to the legend, Solomon received a ring from God that had a seal engraved on it, granting him authority over the spiritual world. It is said that he used this seal to command and bind the 72 demons, compelling them to reveal their knowledge and perform tasks for him. Each demon had a specific name, characteristic and an area of expertise. These 72 demons are commonly described in grimoires and occult texts, including the 17th century grimoire called the Lesser Key of Solomon or Lemegeton. In this text, each demon is listed along with a description of their abilities, appearance and instruction on how to summon and control them. The stories surrounding King Solomon and the 72 demons have been a subject of fascination for occultists, scholars and enthusiasts of esoteric knowledge throughout history. In the Testament of Solomon, legend says that King Solomon used the ring to summon Asmodeus, the demon of lust, and other demons, commanding them to build the very first temple of Jerusalem. Asmodeus is initially reluctant to obey Solomon, but he is eventually forced to comply. 
with his wisdom and the power to control demons and jinns. King Solomon built himself a wealth beyond measure and a kingdom shone like the sun itself. Solomon was so rich that his guards and servants didn't just serve him, they mirrored his splendor. They were so lavishly adorned that one day a visitor to his kingdom, a great queen, was left in awe. She mistook one of his escorts for King Solomon himself. That's how richly they were paid and treated, dressed in patterns of royalty. King Solomon's reign was marked by opulence. He made silver so common in the land of Israel that it became as common as the stones beneath our feet. When Solomon decided to decorate one of his majestic castles nestled in the forest of Lebanon, he spared no expense. He had 200 large shields forged from hammered gold, and each one contained a staggering 600 shackles of gold, a total of 4.5 tons of gold. This is just a fraction of Solomon's wealth. King Solomon inherited a vast and prosperous kingdom from his father, King David. David had conquered many lands and expanded the kingdom's borders, which gave Solomon access to a wide range of resources. Solomon was a shrewd businessman, and he placed a great emphasis on trade. He established trade routes all over the known world, which brought his kingdom great wealth. In addition to these factors, Solomon was also blessed with great wisdom. He used his wisdom to make wise decisions that helped to grow his wealth even further. In Islam, it is believed that God blessed Solomon with wealth and riches like no other king ever before or after him. That's why it is believed that he is the richest man ever lived. King Solomon had many wives, as the Bible mentions. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines. His wives were described as foreign princesses, including Pharaoh's daughter and women of Moab, Ammon, Edom, Sidon and the Hittites. One of them was the Queen of Sheba, a figure mentioned in the Bible, the Quran and Ethiopian folklore. Her story is told in the first book of Kings in the Bible, where she is described as a wealthy and powerful queen who visits King Solomon to test his wisdom. In the Quran, she is known as Bilqis and is described as a wise and just ruler who converts to Islam after meeting Solomon. In Ethiopian folklore, she is known as Makeda and is said to have had a son with Solomon named Menelik I, who is considered to be the founder of the Ethiopian dynasty. Legend said that the queen of Sheba Bilqis was half human, half jinn. Her father was a Yemeni king, Al-Haddad, who married a jinn princess, Baltaga, or Ruwaha. According to the Quran, the Queen of Sheba, known as Bilqis, was a wise and just ruler of a wealthy kingdom in southern Arabia. She was also a sun worshipper. King Solomon, who was a prophet of God, heard about Bilqis and her kingdom and sent her a letter inviting her to worship God instead of the sun. When Solomon heard that the Queen of Sheba was on her way, he ordered the jinns standing before him to bring the throne of Bilqis before the queen arrived. One of the jinns placed the throne before him within the blink of an eye. When Bilqis arrived, she was amazed. She realized that she was in the company of a very knowledgeable person, who was not only a great ruler, but also a messenger of God. She repented, gave up worshipping the sun, and worshipped God. Solomon is renowned not only for his wisdom, but also for his prolific writing. Over the course of his life, he wrote three major books, 
all of which are now part of the Old Testament in the Bible. It could be said that through Solomon, God spoke with the world. These three books authored by Solomon are Song of Solomon, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. He is also attributed with writing the Book of Wisdom or Wisdom of Solomon. This book delves into themes of wisdom, wealth, power and prayer and holds great value for the Jewish community being cherished deeply. Tell us in the comments what your favourite books are and share a few lines from these books. King Solomon also wrote books to help discipline his children and utilised his profound wisdom effectively by composing a variety of works. Among them were poems, insightful proverbs and engaging short stories. One of these books, The Wise Sayings, held a distinct purpose. Solomon crafted it as a manual for his children, particularly his sons. His aspiration was to provide them with the best possible guidance, imparting a portion of his abundant wisdom. By adhering to these principles, one can shape a productive, accomplished and contented adult. As we conclude our journey into the life of King Solomon, it's impossible to ignore the profound impact he left on history. His wisdom, judgments and architectural marvels continue to inspire awe and admiration to this day. So, there you have it, the remarkable story of King Solomon, the wise and just ruler of ancient Jerusalem. Join us next time as we unravel more enigmatic tales from the annals of history. Until then, remember, the past is filled with mysteries just waiting to be uncovered. See you in the next episode.